If you're a big swim team and you like to order a lot of gear, maybe you ought to check out Swim Outlet Team Division for these reasons. Swim teams receive a 10% discount on bulk orders. Swim teams or organizations get an 8% commission on referred sales. You'll also like their customization services, which is affordable and available at all times during the year for all team gear. With over 50,000 items in stock, you can get most anything you want. Swim Outlet Team Division. You need to try it out. You'll be glad you did. This is the Morning Swim Show for Friday, December 13th, 2013. I'm your host, Tiffany Elias. Today's show features the freshman from Cal, many of you know and love, Missy Franklin. Swimming World's Jeff Cummings sat down with Missy to discuss swimming, but most importantly, her new life at Cal. Let's watch it now. All right, so Missy, um, I just want to touch on the great weekend you've been having here. Um, we talked about the 500 on Thursday, great swim there, 200 free. Almost broke the American record. I mean, did, I don't think anybody <laughs> saw that coming. Did you see that coming? Definitely not. Um, I was thrilled to be a 141. Um, I think that was, um, I think it was the best time actually. So to go there, and it was actually I think my first best time with Terry. So she was really excited about it too. Um, but I really wasn't expecting to be there right now. So I think that says a lot of good things, and there's definitely a lot to still work on. But I think we're heading in the right direction. Yeah, it looks like your freestyle was really good this Thank weekend. Thank you. It felt really good this weekend. I mean, your backstroke, sure. always fantastic. I don't want to <laughs> say you. anything. I could, it, there's never a bad thing to say about your backstroke. It just really looked like your freestyle was really starting to, to progress. You. Especially, I think that's what has been happening this year. Mm -hmm. I mean, like at Worlds, you had great 100, 200 freestyles. And yeah. um, it, do you think that's what's happening? Is your, your freestyles finally catching up to your backstroke? Yeah, I think, you know, it's interesting. I personally think short course swimming is a completely different sport than long course swimming is. Um, and short course swimming, I think, is definitely the weaker side than long course. And so I think my freestyle short course is um, stronger than my backstroke short course and then flip for long course. My backstroke is stronger long course and my freestyle is weaker. So to kind of be able to work on those weak spots and really get those up there and be in college swimming and in a sport where I can really work on that short course aspect of it, I think yeah. it's awesome because I think that's really going to correlate to long course and I'll really be able to pull some things here and do yeah. over there and yeah, vice yeah. versa. All right, enough time. Talk about swimming. I want to know what life is like for you at Berkeley. Three first three months at, at Berkeley. Great. It's it's been absolutely incredible. It's been hard for sure. College swimming is hard. It makes you tough, but it's been the most amazing three months. I mean, I miss home and I miss my parents so much, but I've been able to see them. They come out to meet a bunch, and I was able to go home for Thanksgiving, which was awesome, and see my dog. And I'm going home for Christmas again, but. I have the best team and the best coaches in the entire world, and it's just been so much fun. And did I understand this correctly? You guys are going to Hawaii for training? Yes. Oh, I'm what's a so tough life? Excited. Gosh. We go to training trip for Hawaii, and I am so excited. I can't even, I can't wait. Well, I, I, I'm sure that, that um, your parents will be happy that, you know, you're, you're still under good hands with oh, Terry, absolutely. that, you know, you guys get to travel to <laughs> these hard places for training. I know. This really, really tough life over here, but... <laughs> Tell me about classes. How is that going for you? They're awesome. I've learned so much. I still have no idea what I want to major in, so I'm kind of taking classes all over the board, but really been enjoying them. They're, again, really, really hard. I have finals coming up, and I have some finals that are worth 50% of my grade. So I'm kind of like <laughs> stressing out, but Terry told us just to be in the meet this weekend, be focused, and I can start stressing about it tomorrow. So, so. you didn't do any kind of studying <laughs> at all this week? Oh, absolutely. We have all of reading week this next week, so that's going to be our big week. I probably won't ever leave my dorm room just studying. <laughs> um, but then we have finals, and then we have a little bit of training, and then we go home for Christmas. That's so, awesome. Yeah. Um, any idea what you think is going to be the hardest final for you, the one that you you mm -hmm. feel like you have to study the hardest for? That's a good Okay, so I'm in this marine mammals class, which is super fun. It's an integrated biology class, and we learn about marine mammals, and that's the final that's worth 50% of my grade, and I think just that percentage really freaks me out, so I'll definitely be studying for that a lot, but I get to study, like, whales and sea lions, yeah. so it's fun. <laughs> I don't know. I think a couple years ago or something, you had said something like you're really interested in marine life. Yeah, I really love marine mammals. I have such a passion for that, but, I mean, I've realized how many other things I have a passion for, too. 
too in terms of like I'm looking at teaching, I'm looking at public health, like there's so many different things that I'm interested in so I'm really just trying to like test the waters and really see what just kind of grabs me. Yeah, you're just a freshman, you got plenty of time. Yeah, to exactly, which is what everyone keeps telling me so it's a little bit reassuring. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so last question, I'm going to go back to swimming. Okay. Okay, I know on Thursday you said you have no idea what you're going to do at NCAAs. Mm -hmm. If you could design your dream three events, yeah. what would they be? You know, um, I think my freestyle is going to be even stronger in a few months than it is now. Um, and I'm definitely gaining confidence in that, which is really fun too. But I was also really happy with my 100 back this meet. I was a little bit, I wanted to be a little bit faster in my 200 back, but it was still the best time of my season. So honestly, wherever I can help the team the most, whether that's the 500, whether it's the 50, I will go wherever I need to go and be extremely happy because I'm competing in the NC2A championships, which is the coolest thing ever. So I can't wait. <laughs> that is a true team player, ladies and gentlemen. She'll do anything that Terry asked her to do. Maybe not the 100 breasts or 200 breasts. I mean, I don't think that would be very good for the team, yeah. but <laughs> she really wanted me to. <laughs> well, I'm sure you do. You would do great. Thank you. All right, Missy, it's good to catch up with you Absolutely. have a good have a good December good luck with finals thank and good you. luck with Hawaii I'm jealous but I know you'll so be excited. you'll have fun <laughs> thank you so much <laughs> best times for Missy Franklin and upcoming trips to Hawaii things are looking pretty good for her thanks Jeff and Missy that's it for the morning swim show I'm Tiffany Elias thanks for watching and have a great weekend